I have a little problem. I like to buy things. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm kind of new here. Nice to meet you. If you've been here one, two, three times, well, you're kind of new here too. See what I did there? I, I, yeah. So today, I did my face. And considering it's a beauty channel, you would think that'd be normal. And well, it pretty much is. <laughs> so, um, but I did a thing. And I bought more stuff. I really gotta stop doing that. But, I bought a new palette. The Nubian. From Juvia's Place. Stick around to find out my first impressions. Well, I bought the Nubian palette by Juvia's. And thankfully, I mean, it not thankfully, they don't have mirrors, so I'm not going to, you know, blind you. So I bought a neutral palette. What? I'm going to use it today, at least. There are four neutrals in this, or four matte shades. One, two, three, four. And the rest appear to be either satins or shimmers, but we're going to make a look because we can. This palette doesn't have names on it. Yeah, it doesn't have names. So we're just going to go with uh, point, the point and uh, dip. We're going to do this. Bam! And I've already done the rest of my face. So, you know, we're going to hope that there's not a lot of fallout. So what I'm doing is I dip into the, th the pan and I stick it where I want the most pigment. Like I want the most pigment right here in the outer corner, the outer V, the, the whatever you want to call it. So, and then I'm blending in from there in case you need a wrist. I like to go between the windshield wiper motion I'm going to do another dip. And I like to do the circular motion. All right. So, so far so good. It's not, it's a good blending shade. Or, and I am going to use this pinky color here. To kind of build up a little bit in the crease a little because I can and I just do a couple dips and go at it actually I'm gonna build up use that same color to build up more on the outer part of my lid Now I'm going to go in with that first brush and blend. I think I'm going to go in with a little more. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit in this color in the outer uh, third, outer corner, the outer V, whatever. I'm just going to dab it right here. I'm getting out my Moda brush uh, that we got in BoxyCharm to uh, kind of blend. It's clean. I am going to go in with this color right here to do the inner part of my lid. Um, the reason why we're doing this um, ultra neutral look is because, well, maybe I should look like a grown up. Maybe. We'll see. Hey guys, I know it's not the greatest lighting back there, but I have big news. So the reason why I did this makeup look that you'll see here in a second was for a job interview. I start tomorrow at 7 a.m. 7.30. Okay, so I'm doing it in from the, the inner corner. I'm going to build it up.
and uh, take it across the lid. Now I'm just going to blend it in. Using, actually, I'm going to use the one that we used to um, build up the crease to blend in. Under my lash line, I'm going to put the same thing that we put in the crease to build it up, but I'm just going to smudge it under. I'm going to put it on the little liner and mascara, and we'll be right back. Oh, and lips. Hey, guys. Um, I'm back. Makeup's done. Who's excited about that? Um, just so you guys know what I did, I did do the reverse uh, foundation thing again, and I used um, Wet n Wild. Uh, contour stick, blush stick, um, wait, here, Wet n Wild contour, blush, and conceal concealer correction stick um, to kind of go under. And then for the uh, foundation over it, I did use uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus because I've had it a long time. Uh, I did end up putting a little bit of this note. Uh, blusher on just on the cheeks lightly in the color Desert Rose. We got that in BoxyCharm and from my Ipsy I used this uh, banana powder from Bella Pierre and used it to set my under eye concealer which was just here but it's Exuvians. We don't hear much about Exuvias on the YouTubes do we? And of course mascara. Oh there's the Exuvians. This is very comparable to uh, Bye Bye Under Eye, in my opinion. So, the, but back to the Nubian palette. First impressions. It's a really nice palette. There's a lot of color payoff in this. Um, if you look, it is neutral. It's not, it is a warmer neutral, but only some of them. And there are some cooler neutrals, which is nice. It's just an, a neutral, non, not colorful palette, which is weird for Juvia's Place. When I think Juvia's Place, I think rainbow. I don't think, I. this is what I think. This is not what I think. But if you are a person who likes to get an eyeshadow look that's relatively easy, where you don't have to um, work really hard, to get the colors and build up. These are really easy to um, get colors going. It looks really nice. They blend well. You could build it up if you want. You don't have to. I am just so far. I've used Nubian or uh, Juvia's Place, like real Juvia's Place, because I have a fake one from Wish. But holy mackerel, guys. These are going to be quite a good investment in your shadow collection, in my opinion, of course. And who am I? But some chick on the internet with a camera. Woo! I'm kind of new here. Like how I did that? Who am I? I'm kind of new here. Um, so, yeah. Um... Good things I have learned when I was purchasing my uh, Juvia's Place. <sighs> At Ulta, you do not need um, a 20% off. These are considered drugstore. They are not considered prestige. But dang it, are they great. They're really, really nice. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to say that because I don't have lots of words. I'm not Trump. I'm not going to say I know all the words. I know some of the words, like 10 of them. And all of the 10 are complimentary adjectives about these palettes. Anyway, guys, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. You know the drill. But, um... Those things help us. They help us all. So, anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, 
I just talked crap about the president on my beauty channel? Yeah. Okay.